Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's video, we are going to be swatching some of the lovely colors from the Nail Addict Holiday Collection. These are all varying shades of red and green, and we're going to be starting with Green Elves. Green Elves is a soft sort of Tiffany blue color. It's one of my favorites, but I didn't get a moving swatch. Sorry guys. This is Milky Way. Milky Way is a soft baby pink that is sheer and has golden flecks in it that kind of mimic candlelight or like stars in the Milky Way. Next we have Fire Show, which by the name I thought was going to be a vibrant fiery red, but it's actually more of a fuchsia color with holographic sparkles in it. Do you recall is a beautiful vibrant green that's brighter than the normal green that we see around the holidays. It's not my favorite for my skin tone. These are actually greens I stay away from actually, but it's nice for others. Here is Scarlet Red. Scarlet Red reminds me of like Santa Claus's suit because it has this way of looking like velvet. It's the way that the sort of gold shimmer in it shines. Next we have Serendipity, which is a deep green, sort of holographic polish. This one was actually tough for me to get to be even because of the peel off base I had underneath. And lastly we have Evergreen, which is my absolute favorite from this collection. It's a very deep, almost blackened green. You can still see it's green, but I just love how dark it is. It reminds me of the color that I picked to paint my coffee bar. And it's actually the color I chose to do this look that I'll be doing. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm taking my silicone nail art mat and I'm making very thin sort of sheets of each of the colors, all except for Do You Recall? I'm curing them with my tiny mini desk lamp because it's faster and each of each cure takes one minute. I'm making the layers as thin as possible. I don't want them to be too thick because when I use them you'll see why I don't want them to be too thick. Now that they're cured, I'm taking a cotton ball with alcohol to wipe off the inhibition layer that happens after you've cured gel polish because I don't want them to be sticky. And now I'm going to peel up each of the squares and cut them with my scissors. The idea of the nail look I'll be doing is to do sort of terrazzo nails. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's like the stone flooring that is in older homes, like my mom's house was built in the 1950s, and it's a white base or like a white creamy beige base with different shades of green and like gray and black uh, little stones inside of it. So that's the idea that I was getting because as now that I'm decorating my house I've been noticing that Terrazzo is making a comeback. This is the gel and dip base that I used. It's a gray. I used it on um, my index, my middle, and my thumb. I actually don't have any gel colors that are white or gray. I couldn't believe it. So I went ahead and I used this dip one. And I actually do have a thin layer of clear dip on my ring finger and my pinky to kind of strengthen the nail so that I can try and keep them from breaking and grow them out a little more while I finish my last home projects. I applied evergreen over top of them and I am going to clean up any little bits of polish on the skin before curing and then I repeated that step three times because I wanted to have the the green be as deep and opaque as possible. Now I'm taking the Nail Addict base polish and I'm going to put a thin layer over my middle finger which is the one with the gray gel and dip. I did the entire dip step process except for the final one where you cover it with the dip top coat. After I did the activator and wiped it off after five minutes, I applied the base and now I'm picking up the little tiny pieces of gel polish that we cut up before. I'm using a pin, I'm kind of just stabbing it and it's sticky from the base polish as well, which makes it easier to pick up these little shards. I'm just trying to spread out the colors in sort of, not a pattern, but in kind of like a sporadic way that doesn't look like all the colors clustering on one side. 
It takes a bit of doing, but I got it the way I wanted, and now I'm actually going to cure the base. I'm taking off the inhibition layer with a alcohol on my cotton ball. I used to have lint-free wipes, but I can't find them now that I moved. So when you do the shards, if they're thick, you're going to have a bumpy base. So I decided to clean off the alcohol inhibition layer and then take a nail buffer just to smooth out the surface, which I think helps with the look of the stone that I was going for. They're more party or glitter in tissue paper. I think if I had done it with a regular nail polish, I could have ripped it and it looked more organic. This is a nail plate that I decided to use because it has little snowflakes on it, and I'm going to be using it with Cozy by Maniology. These snowflakes are going to be um, a coppery gold glitter. It's a really nice color, especially over the evergreen. So I decided to do just three little golden snowflakes on my ring finger. I also put some on the middle finger, but they're harder to see over the design there. I think if I'd left the stone or the terrazzo as like a mat, the stamping polish would have, I think, stood out more over it. But once I put the top coat on, it's actually harder to see. I was trying to get that foil to stick to it because the polish dried really fast. I'm quickly applying a clear gel top coat over it. I'm trying not to let it soak on the stamp too much because I don't want it to streak. Most gels will streak um, regular polish over a gel, but if you just work fast enough, it shouldn't be an issue. I cured that for one minute, and now this is the final look. My nails are so short, I cannot wait for them to grow out, but I am loving these dip, and I love using the gel polishes over the dip. It makes things a little more creative. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.